Microsoft will stop supporting Windows 10 in October 2025. That means many people will need to upgrade to Windows 11. But there is a catch. Windows 11 only works with UEFI boot. And for that, your system disk needs to use GPT partition style instead of MBR. That means you'll need to convert your disk from MBR to GPT. And doing this the wrong way can cause data loss or make your system unbootable. But don't worry, in this video, I'll show you guys two methods to convert your disk. One with the software called Ease as Partition Master and one with Command Prompt. Make sure to watch this video until the end so your computer starts correctly after the conversion. So before we start converting our disk, we need to check the disk partition style and partitions numbers okay so for that right click on the start menu and click on disk management and this will open a disk management here you need to select the system disk usually it's the c drive so next to c drive you also see the disk number so in my case it's the disk zero so i'm going to select that and going to right click and going to go to properties and from here you need to go to volumes and here you'll see the partition style it is MBR. That means I need to convert this to GPT so I can upgrade to Windows 11. Next thing, you need to check how many partitions there are on that disk. In my case, it's just only one. But if you have more than three partitions on that disk, MBR to GPT method will not work. But Ease Us Partition Master supports unlimited number of partitions for MBR to GPT conversion. Plus, it's safer and easier to use now another important thing we need to check before we convert our disk is whether your disk is encrypted or not if it's not encrypted you're all good to go but if it is encrypted then you need to turn off the encryption for more detailed information on bitlocker check out this video on top of the screen and before we start please make sure to back up your important data to another drive just in case if anything goes wrong your data will be safe now let me show you guys built-in tool to convert your disk from mbr to gpt using command prompt search command prompt and right click on it and run this as administrator and here put this command this command will basically check whether you can convert your disk from mbr to gpt or not okay so hit enter now it says validation completed successfully that means we can convert our disk from mbr to gpt but if you get any error here this will not work especially when you have more than three partitions on the disk if that's the case you should use the partition master tool so this built-in tool is very limited and doesn't always work so once the validation is successful now enter this command okay and this will start converting your disk from mbr to gpt and this method only works with the system disk again usually it's the c drive if you have another drive like d f basically the extra disks, it will not work. Once it converts your disk, you need to reboot your computer and have to enter into BIOS setup and have to change the boot mode of your motherboard to UEFI. If you don't do this, your computer will not boot. And as soon as your computer turns on, keep pressing the BIOS key. Usually it's F2, delete or escape. It depends on what type of computer you have let's say for example for msi it's delete key and bios depending on the brand also looks different so once you're in the bios setup look for options like boot mode and change the boot mode from legacy or csm enabled to uefi and then save the changes and exit the bios and reboot your computer in here you can see the partition style is now gpt now you're ready to upgrade to windows 11. now if this method didn't work for you you got error or something let me show you guys how to use ease as partition master to convert your disk from mbr to gpt without losing any data for that we have to do the similar thing check for disk whether it's uh, mbr or not go to volume and make sure that it is mbr and also make sure that bitlocker is turned off again for more details on bitlocker check out this video on top of the screen this is the easiest and most 
beginner friendly method. It works in almost all situations, even when the built in tool like MBR to GPT fails. Plus, MBR to GPT can be complicated, especially for beginners. If you're going to use this software to convert the data disk, it's completely free. But if you want to convert a system disk, it requires a paid version. Now let's convert our disk. You'll find link in the description for this software. You can go there and download it. Once you have this, open this program and go to disk converter. And here select MBR to GPT and click on next. And here select the disk that you want to convert. So in our case, it's the system drive. Again, usually it's the C drive. So select that and click on convert and it will start the process and it will give you this message. So we need to click here. Yes. And then this will reboot our system. And after a reboot, it will give you this message saying Aesis partition master boot mode operation. So this is where it's going to convert our disk from MBR to GPT. And this can take some time. So be patient and your computer might reboot a couple of times at least twice so here you can see again it rebooted process will take some time depending on the size of the disk and number of partitions so be patient once the process is completed this will say the batch operations are processed successfully and it will give you a message saying to make sure your system starts normally please set your motherboard to uefi mode and press enter to restart so now to boot into the system we need to enter into our bios setup and change the boot mode from legacy to uefi so you can do the same thing as we did previously just go to bios setup and change the boot mode to uefi mode and now your computer will boot it won't take that long now log into your pc and in here you can see the partition style is now gpt and we didn't lose any data everything is as it is and sometimes after converting disk from mbr to gpt system partition might appear on the file explorer so if that happens right click on your start menu go to disk management and select the partition that is appearing on uh, the file explorer usually it's going to be the efi partition you just need to right click in here and click on change drive letter and path okay so in my case, it didn't happen. It didn't appear here. So let's assume that this is the system partition. We're going to right click and we're going to click on change drive letter and paths. And after that, we're going to simply remove it. OK. And once we remove it, now that system partition won't appear in the uh, file explorer it will be hidden this partition is used by the windows we don't really need it and that's it for this video hope you found this video useful if you did don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe for more tech tips